Kelly from the County of Mount Public Library again. Uh, today we're working on a fun little ghost. As you can see, I'm trying to get my mitts on and my gloves on here because you're going to want to have some gloves. So we're going to work on a stiff ghost. It's really kind of fun. The kids would think it's great. It would be great outside. Put some glow sticks underneath them. It would be awesome. Okay, so as you can see, I've got um, things kind of already set up, ready to go. I've got a water bottle, slightly full. I've got a paper bag underneath here stuffed with um, paper towel. And then I just put a bag over it because I know it will stick less, less to um, our project that we're working on. So I've wrapped wire around, just around the cap um, to make it look like arms. Um, and I put a little bit of tape at the end because my original one, um, the, it kept popping through the cheesecloth. So we're working with cheesecloth today and we're working with cornstarch and water. As you can see, I've got a bucket full of stuff here. It's like muck. So it's one cup of cornstarch to two cups of water. And you do it in your microwave for 30 seconds a time. My original one that I did, it took me two minutes to heat it up to like a paste. This time I did it in an old microwave. It took me almost four minutes. Still do the 30 second intermittent, 30 seconds a time and then stir it. Cause you don't want it to be, I actually, the first time I made it really, it was way too hard, way too hard. So I've got my cheesecloth ready to go. Um, what I've done with my cheesecloth is I, it comes in a big long strip rolled in a paper or a cardboard, which you're gonna save for your boo. Um, so I've cut it actually in shorter strips. Cheesecloth is funny stuff. It comes, um, if you never worked with cheesecloth, it's actually a pretty cool material makes great um, textured stuff. So it comes in different layers too. It's kind of hard to work with my gloves on, but we'll see if we can work it out. So I cut it in smaller strips and I actually got it wet. I found that when I was first doing my first ghost, that the first strip I did, it wasn't wet. And I found it very difficult to get it um, covered enough. Wait, I might have to take my gloves off to do this. Sorry about that. Just can't get a hold of the ends. So your um, cornstarch and water is still warm. You can let it cool a little bit. You don't want it to cool too much. Okay, so there we go. We got our straight now. So I did it in three different sections. So you can actually do your ghost in layers. So I'm gonna put the biggest section on first. I'm just gonna actually get that ready. I need to put my gloves back on. Um, the important part about this is it takes several days to dry, I'm gonna say. But once it's dry, it's quite stiff. It would be really cool with a couple glow sticks underneath it. Put a paint a face on. I originally uh, just glued a face on, but I found it wasn't going to stay. Um, so I just actually painted the eyeballs on. I really didn't want a whole face, but you can decide how you want yours, if you want a whole face or not. Wow, I get this. This is the worst thing about cheesecloth, is trying to get it all organized. And it didn't seem to matter how I tried. I hope you do a better job than I do. But it sticks to each other and it's just, oh, it's, it's makes a cool texture, but. Okay, so then you're gonna put your cheesecloth in your cornstarch. And you're gonna actually mix it up quite well. Um, So it's, it's very, it's covered quite well. This is where the gloves come in handy. If it's just a little bit warm, it makes a difference too. 
Oh, I should have done a set up here. So get it well covered. It's got a funny smell. String it out. And you're gonna have lots. So as, as I said, I think it was one cup of cornstarch to two cups of water. Microwaved, um, 30 second incre incre increments. I can't even talk today. Okay. Ah. And once you got it thoroughly covered, again, trying to get it organized to bring it apart. What I did is I actually put it on and as it started to cool, I started pulling it apart. My original one I did with a, a balloon for the head, but the head kept falling off. So it was a little bit of a nuisance. As you can see, I can, I've got it pulled apart quite a bit. Oh, and underneath the um, ghost here on the, underneath the bottle, I've got parchment paper. Uh, wax paper would work, a garbage bag would work. Make sure you cover your little bit of your space, otherwise it's gonna stick to your table. And do it in a spot that you can leave it sitting for a couple of days. Sorry, you can't see while I'm doing this. I haven't got my camera set up very well. So just decorate it, just move it around. Make sure you cover the arms. As you can see, it's cooling down. I can move it around a little bit better now. I've got it pulled apart a bit. So I did wrap the paper bag kind of around the wire that I put used for the arms. So keep that in mind too. So this cornstarch, it's like, it's like fabric stiffener, same thing. Um, you can buy a fabric stiffener, you can make your own fabric stiffener and a glue and paste or water, glue and flour. But this works great. It's relatively inexpensive. You can get the cheesecloth at the dollar store. Just make sure you get it covered well. It's just a mucky job. So when you're microwaving, make sure you have a microwave safe bowl. I don't wanna burn down the house. And it needs to be a fairly large bowl. As you can see, this is a bit of a challenge. I don't know why they thought this was gonna be a fun idea, but it's really cute when it's done. So I'm actually gonna layer this one in the opposite direction. Um, just creating layers. And then you can just pull kind of the, on the ends that, as it cools down and you've got it kind of in place. Make sure you cover the arms well. You want them to look like it's out. side how does it look so you gotta pull these pull these little ends out see and stretch them out a bit so much for the gloves I did a much better job this time mixing up my cornstarch than the first time the first time it was so hard it wasn't easy to work with. This one's nice and soft. If you like the muck, this is a great project. So as you see, I'm gonna do one more layer and then I'm gonna just play with it for a little bit. And you can play with it for quite a while um, or you can leave it um, 
sitting until it's cool and it, um, you still have about half a day to play with it before it stiffens up hard enough that you really can't touch it. So then once it's dry, um, usually the next day I would take out um, the bottle and the arms. The arms actually are metal and they actually left a little bit of a stain on my cheesecloth, but I didn't really think that mattered. So if you're gonna decorate it with some bats or something, it won't matter anyway. Sorry, this is just so um, hard to pull apart. As you can see, I'm struggling. It's a good thing I like to muck. So this one I'm gonna lay over just another little different direction. So I've got one going sideways, one going right over the top. And this one I will lay just a little different. So maybe it looks like it's another layer on its front. And you can decide which way is front and back. Don't squish it down too hard because the head is somewhat delicate. It is only a paper bag and wire. So lay out your front so that it's kind of got a nice little skirt. I've got my back actually looking much better here. You can see you can play with it for quite a while. You got probably enough cheesecloth that you might be able to cut smaller pieces and do um, four layers. Whatever look you were looking for. I wanted to have a long skirt on mine. Because I decided I might even try to hang this one up and see how it looks. Yeah, you get the drift. You got the arms going, you got the leg. The... All right. Oh, don't fall over, little guy. Sorry. I did put some water in my um, jug just for a little bit of weight. His head's a little crooked, but he'll still work it. Flip his arms up just a little bit. There we go. It doesn't look like much now, but once it starts to dry, it really looks pretty, pretty neat. Okay, we're almost done. Hard to see all the different layers, but I'll give you a show when I'm done. And I'll make the arm just look a little bit better. Like he's got a little bit of a hand there. So you see, it's kind of a mucky job, but have fun. Enjoy the process. As I always say, um, have fun mucking and be safe. Thanks, Prince. See you soon. Bye.